Today we're going to work on a part of the body that is very indicative of belly dance, the hips. As Shakira said, the hips don't lie and they also can tell when you're an amateur or if you've been doing this a really long time. That said, practice makes perfect and perfect practice makes even more perfect. So, learn some muscle memory. We're going to do some hip slides. This is a horizontal movement. We're going to move it into the hip circle. So, we're going to slide the hips as far out as we can go and then slide in the other direction. So this is a very flat movement, side to side. If you find that you are lifting when you get all the way out as far as your body can go, bend the knees a little more and think about driving the hips down rather than just out. It'll help you elongate the movement and stretch those muscles. We're also gonna kind of thrust the hips forward and back for this movement. When I say hips, we're not tipping the pelvis for this. It's keeping very flat. So when you drive the hips forward, it's both of those hip bones are driving forward at the same rate. And they're driving back at the same rate. I like to tell people, think of it if you're wearing a really fitted corset and your spine isn't going to move. So you're gonna slide to the right. We're gonna push to the back, which engages all these muscles right here and really pushes everything back, especially those hip bones. And then we're gonna bring it back to neutral position, but on the left hand side. And then we're gonna kind of push it forward just ever so slightly. So right, back, left, center. Let's try it the other direction. Left, back, right, center. So to smooth it out, it's gonna be like, you're going in a circle around your feet. Opposite direction. Again, if you feel like you're rising up on either side, bend the knees, really tuck that tail down, and flatten out the movement. Go back to your hip slide. You can also do a traveling hip circle. We'll do a little bit of that, and maybe talk more about that when we do more traveling moves. But when you do traveling moves in a circle, you want to focus on where your weight is. So I'm not going to try to move my right foot when my right hip is on it. I'm going to wait till the weight is on the left. So it looks a little bit like this. Give it a try. See how you like it. Remember, keep that movement nice and flat. It's a flat, circular movement. Wax on, wax off. Bye.